good morning students welcome back to your online teaching of study with anuradha dubey today we are going to be looking at part 3 of the chapter the climate of india in part 1 and 2 i explain you about the introduction of this chapter and some of the factors which are responsible to change the climate of india now in this part also i will explain you some other factors which are responsible to change the climate of india so let's start with altitude there is a decrease of 1 degree celsius for every 166 meter rise in height that is called lapse rate because temperature decreases as you move to higher altitude so the mountains are cooler than the plains for example uti has much lower temperature than kochi because of the altitude now the next factor is the influence of the surrounding sea india is flanked by three water bodies namely the indian ocean the bay of bengal and the arabian sea which have a profound impact on the climate especially in areas lying close to the sea these were bodies act as the major source of moisture to the summer monsoon and bring heavy rainfall to the whole area in fact it is because of the nearness to the sea that these areas have a moderate climate now the next that is very important point it is called the western disturbance the weather conditions during winter are generally influenced by the distribution pattern of pressure in the central and the west asia in the winter season due to the shifting of the pressure belts the westerlies blow from 20 degree north to 50 degree north latitude and the northern india comes under the influence of the winds and cyclones rising from the mediterranean sea these cyclones bring rain to north place and so in jammu and kashmir in india and the importance of this distribution is what you know that they are responsible to make the punjab haryana as the wheat bowl of india now the next is the jet streams air currents which determine the arrival and departure of monsoons are known as jet streams these currents develop in the upper layers of the atmosphere the westerly jet stream prevails over the north indian plains during the winter months while the easterly jet streams stress the tropical depression over india these depressions play a very significant role in the distribution pattern of the monsoon rainfall in the subcontinent the highest rainfall occurs almost the track of these depressions so that is called jet streams and this thing it influences the for changing the climate of india now the distance from the sea areas in the interiors of india have extremes of climate or continental climate whereas coastal areas have equable or maritime climate the effect of land bridge and sea bridge caused by differential rate of heating and cooling of land and sea are responsible for moderate climate in the coastal area in the peninsula the western ghats prevent the winds from carrying such benefits far in worse therefore the moderating influence of the sea is limited to the coastal area now the last point that is conditions of the ocean over the oceans lower pressure depressions in summer over the indian ocean travel to the bay of bengal the whole of the east coast of india 
come under the influence of typhoons caused by tropical depressions these typhoons cause loss of life loss to life and the properties that is the condition over the oceans now in my next lecture i will explain you about the monsoon phenomena and its mechanism thank you god bless you all